Alright, I figured I would uh, continue here, guys, with some of the methods I'm doing for my rehab. I just got off the bike at home. Um, 30 minutes. Got down to a level 4. Now, one of the things I noticed uh, on the bike, and nobody told me this, I figured it out, and nobody's going to tell you probably, because people just like to think in the same patterns. If you run into a, you know, trying to get that range of motion back. When you're on the bike, keep your heel on the pedal, not your toe, on the injured side, even on the non-injured side. It gives you much, much better range of motion. And your hip doesn't jack up as much, okay? Uh, I guess the hamstring's a little more involved. But now I'm already down to a level four. Now what I'm about to do, as you can see, I got a hill here, and I got a hill here. Instead of walking over cones and all that to try to get my normal gait back and without a limp all you got to do is hill walk walk up the hill walk down the hill a few times good warm-up for it forces the bend okay then i'm going to show you guys some stuff inside quick workout today knee is pretty warm hit some box squats and then uh i'll be out okay just make sure you put this stuff to use don't be scared if you have any questions please reach out to me so as you can see it's the left leg. Look how it bends here. And it has to bend like that. It doesn't hurt at all. But you know, this is a good way to neurologically get that regular walking back. Okay, and you can see, step forward, bend. And it's not something I have to think about when I'm going up and down the hill. Now, I'm about 10 and a half weeks out. Okay. So you're not going to be able to do this, obviously, three, two, three weeks out. But once you're able to, I started being able to walk up a hill. Maybe two weeks ago I figured this out. So definitely put it to use. Gives you a lot of uh, activation in the quad, which we need. And I believe you're not going to gain the full range of motion back until the strength is proportional. So you got to bring one up, bring the other up. Okay? Hey, guys. You're going to see some box squatting much more fluid than the other week. Notice the depth. Okay, and the key is to spread the floor, actively spread the floor of your feet, shin stay behind, the toes, really protect, you know, keep the stress on that knee, from here, drive back, okay, get my balance on the first here. It's only, it's about friggin' 120 degrees in here, so this is only 10 and a half weeks after complete reconstruction of the knee. IT band snapped, patellar tendon snapped in four, not partial tears, complete tears. Patellar femoral ligament snapped, medial patellar femoral ligament, and a retinacular so knee capsule below. Okay, 10 and a half weeks. Okay. Last thing for today I want you to see is a method that Louie taught me. It's kind of a quarter squat into a calf raise. It's recruiting the soleus, the gastroc, the posterior chain, VMO, all the muscles that surround the knee joint. High rep sets of 15 to 20. Okay? Anybody, any athlete should be doing these. Now I'll use this to balance. Have the camera low so you can see. A little quarter squat, butt back. Quick breather. Thank you. 
Okay, I don't know. What you have? Yeah, I don't know. Thank you.